In this tutorial, I am going to demonstrate how to create a trigger using the Nexus client. Uh, a trigger is a way to automatically execute a command or a series of commands when the client receives text from the game. In my example, I am going to create a trigger that will get sword and then wield sword uh, after I have dropped a sword. Uh, so I am going to log into my test character on Akea for this. Alright, so first thing I need to do is get the text for uh, what happens or that I receive when we drop the sword. So I'm going to type in drop, uh, oops, oops, uh, sword. Alright, so there's the text right there. You drop a shining steel long sword. Now I want to make sure it's exactly like that, so I am going to highlight it. And then in Nexus, in order to copy text, we have to right click, copy to a new window. All right, as you can see, I popped up a new window for that. I am going to highlight that text, and then I can either type a control C to copy it, or I can right click and go down to copy. So I have now copied that text, so I will close this window. I will come back up and click on the reflexes uh, button. There we are, and now my reflexes window has come up. I'm gonna click on the trigger button here to create a new trigger. So I click on that. Right here in this first field, I am going to, you can either control V to paste the text or I'm going to right click and scroll down to paste here and you can see that copies the text exactly as it was in the game. Now when I receive this text from the game, I am going to uh, go down here to the script section and I am going to type in get sword, enter, and then uh, wield sword. All right. So next time I receive this text from the game, I should get sword and then wield sword automatically. All right. I'm going to click on the save button here and then I'm going to go down to the bottom and close. All right. So let's go ahead and test that up. I, I left that sword on the ground so I need to get the sword to start with. All right. So I now have the sword in my inventory. So now when I drop sword, that uh, action should happen. And boom, you can see I dropped the sword and I automatically picked it up and then began to wield it. Now let's say there's a case where I don't want my triggers to be firing like that. I can go right over here to this little gun symbol in the bottom right hand corner, click on that, and then now if you see I drop uh, sword, it won't fire the trigger because my triggers are turned off. So I need to grab it manually. And you watch if I turn the triggers back on, and then I type in drop sword again, oops, uh, it will fire the trigger, bang. And you can see the trigger fired and did those two commands. Now let's say I want to delete that trigger, I'm just gonna click on my um, settings button there. I'm gonna, click on, I'm gonna click on the setting right here, which is this one. Pre and now there isn't a delete button on this window here, so I'm gonna press delete on my keyboard. That'll pop up this little dialog, I'll click yes, and now that trigger is deleted. All right. Okay, so hopefully that helps out those of you that are new to triggers. Obviously, we can do a lot more advanced, crazy things with triggers. Not going to get that into, into that right now, but we may do that with a future screencast. Uh, if you have any questions about triggers, feel free to ask on the forums, uh, and I'm sure someone will be willing to help you. Good luck.